Hello first grade! Today in math we're going to talk about circle graphs and we're going to be using our fractions to do that. So here we go! Okay so we're going to talk about making circle graphs and we're going to practice dividing these circle graphs into halves and quarters or one-fourths. Okay so with this problem right here we have Anna and Eric and there are six crayons on the table for them okay so I'll write that down six crayons okay three of them are for Anna and three of them are for Eric so we're gonna use the circle graph to show what part of the crayons are for Anna and what part of the crayons are for Eric so what do you see here when you see six and each has three. Well, you know that three plus three equals six, right? So three and three is half of six. So I can split my circle graph in half and it would show that Anna has half of the crayons and Eric has the other half. They each have three. And 3 and 3 are the same, so that makes it half. They're the same piece. And 3 and 3 also make 6, which is how many crayons we have all together. So what fraction of the crayons are Anna's? Well, the answer would be 1 half. What fraction are the, of the crayons are Eric's? 1 half. We didn't split into any fourths because we only split into two pieces. 1, 2. Okay, so in this problem, Gary has eight cars all together. Two of them are red, two of them are blue, two of them are green, and two of them are yellow. So if we counted, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight cars all together. Now we want to split our circle graph to show that the pieces that each color has. Now I see that I have one, two, three, four. Four different colors. That means I'm gonna need at least four different pieces, right? Now, are all those four pieces going to be the same? Well, let's look, are the numbers the same? Two, 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 and two, those are all the same. So my pieces all need to be the same. That makes it easy because I know that I can split my circle into one-fourths. So I split it in half, and I split it in half again. Then I can take and put each color in its own piece. Two blue cars, two red cars, two yellow cars, two green cars. So what fraction are the blue cars? You got it, one-fourth. What fraction are the red cars? One-fourth. Yellow, one-fourth. And green, one-fourth. Okay, first grade, this one's going to get a little trickier. We're going to talk about balls. Baseballs, footballs, and soccer balls. So Brian has four balls all together. He has two baseballs, one football, and one soccer ball. One, two, three, four, right? Now this one's a little trickier because I have four different, or four balls, but I only have three different kinds. Hmm. And if I split it into three pieces that were the same, are all these numbers the same? No, they aren't. This one is bigger, isn't it? This two. So this piece, the baseball's piece, is going to have to be bigger than the footballs and the soccer balls. So let's stop and think. I have four balls. What part of four is two? Well, you know that two is half of four because two plus two equals four. So the baseballs is going to be half 
of our circle. So let's grab baseballs and we'll put them over here. There's two of them. Now I can't put footballs and soccer balls all in this one big piece together. I have to split it up. So what it's going to look like is this. There's one football and one soccer ball. <clears throat> so you can see that this piece for the footballs is a fourth and the soccer balls is a fourth but the baseballs is a half. And if you drew a pretend line, I'm just going to use a dotted line, you could see that we we split it into four pieces, but the baseballs has two whole pieces in its in one. So so that shows that there's twice as many baseballs as footballs and twice as many baseballs as soccer balls. And just like that, you could say there are half as many footballs as baseballs and half as many soccer balls as baseballs. Those are really important words to remember, so I'm going to write them down. Half, twice, which is the same as double, and those are two of our really important words to remember, especially when you do your work today. Okay, you're going to see some of those. Today when you go to do your work page, for math, um, you're going to have a circle graph that's already split up into um, halves and fourths and you get to just answer the questions for it. And then there's another one that you get to make the circle graph, but I promise it's not super tricky. You only have to use one kind of fraction to split it up. Okay? Make sure you um, let me know if you need any help. See you later, first grade.